I finally achieved my dream. I knew this is what I wanted from a very, very young age. But you must work very, very hard to achieve your dream. You know, going to space is just the beginning. I know it's a big responsibility. I'm hoping to inspire the younger generations out there. So this is my first time in Manila, Philippines, and I had a great time here. They are always smiling. They're very humble, humble people. They're very intelligent people too. So I do hope to come more often to Philippines and hoping to share my experience with as many as I could to all of them. save our planet Earth. When you are from space, you can see the pollution, you can see all the, the environment issues when you are from space. So it's very important, it saddens you that people are actually killing among each other, people are actually dying war. That's the reason why space has definitely changed my perspective on life. I'm more into the global issues, the environment, pollution, hunger, children dying, environment issues. So this is very important for me and I do hope that everyone plays a role in protecting our beautiful earth. This is the sleeping bag I was talking about. We go inside the sleeping bag, we zip ourselves and we tie ourselves to the International Space Station. <laughs> this is just acting, yeah? <laughs> and this is acting also. <laughs> The real reason we go to space is we want to know are there any aliens out there but so far we have yet to have any contact with aliens. So we are still looking, we are still planning, we are still hoping that we could at least find some life forms out there. This is strawberry drink, yeah? so this is what happens when water is formed in a microgravity environment. So it forms like a jelly, it forms like a balloon, yeah? it forms like a bubble in space. It took me 25 years to achieve my dream. I knew that I wanted to go to space since I was 10 years old. So I worked very, very hard to achieve my dream. So who would have thought a Malaysian would have gone to space? So that's the reason why I became a doctor, because it's the closest thing that I can get into science. So after 25 years, I finally achieved my dream. So my message to everyone out there, follow your heart, keep your dreams alive, no matter how difficult it is, believe in yourself.